Hey everybody, it's Zach with PC Bros, and today I'm gonna to show you the easiest way to fresh install Windows. So there's a few reasons why you'd wanna do this, and probably the most common reason we see is that your PC isn't working properly for some reason. And a fresh install is an easy way to fix many of these issues. So first we're going to want to shut down the PC by clicking start and then shut down. Next, we're gonna need a USB with a fresh install of Windows. Once the USB is plugged in, turn the PC back on, and while the PC is booting, click and spam the delete button. This will take us to the BIOS for our next step. Sometimes it takes a couple seconds. Don't worry, uh, that's just the computer booting. Once we're in the BIOS, we're only gonna need to switch one thing to make this work. So go to advanced mode in the top right and click on it. This will take us to a different menu and go to boot in the right, right next to exit. Here you'll see boot option one and boot option two. We're going to click boot option one and go to UEFI USB. That's what we just plugged in. Once you click on that, we are done with the BIOS. We're going to go to exit on the right of boot. And then once we click exit, we go to save changes and exit. This will now boot us into the USB we just plugged in with Windows. So it's gonna go through the whole process of booting again. Might take a couple seconds, but don't worry, it is working. So now we're at the Windows setup screen. This is a good sign that it worked. We're just gonna click through and set up Windows normally. Now there is something coming up that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. So we're gonna click the windows we want to install. This one is Windows 11 Pro. Click accept, next, and then we are going to custom. Now this is the important part I was telling you about. These are the partitions. This is everything you have installed on your computer right now. We're going to delete these one at a time. So there's nothing, this is completely wiping your computer. This is going to make sure when we install windows, it's completely fresh, like you're getting a brand new computer. After each one is deleted, click next, and now it's installing a fresh install of Windows. And after this, all you have to do is set up Windows, uh, create an account, and you'll pretty much be good to go. Now, at the end, I'm also going to show you how to activate Windows, so stay tuned for that. Now, this is how you activate Windows. Go to Start, type Activation Settings. This will take you to this menu. As you can see, we do not have Windows activated yet. Go to Change Product Key, click change, type in your product key, and once you type it in and it is correct, it should look like this with the green check mark. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you did find use from this, please like and subscribe for more tips.